Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. I'm so excited to have you joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. This is our general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are just going to shuffle up the deck here and then see what messages the universe has for you today. For Pisces universe. All right, Pisces. Wow, you're getting the power of choice on the bottom of the deck. We start off with grateful. Whoa. Okay. We have shine, longing, and space, and then we have allow and reconciliation. Um, this feels a lot like, um, I'm going to clarify these Pisces, but I can see a couple different scenarios. The first one, I, you know, when we're grateful, we really, our power of attraction for abundance and blessings amplifies by a lot, a lot. And it feels like all of this kind of opportunity begins with this attitude of gratitude. With kind of setting yourself free from any, you know, wanting any kind of desire by really like being grateful for what you already have. Um, I think it's like Oprah Winfrey who said, it's not getting what you want. It's about wanting what you have. And that's what I get. And it feels like when you are in complete alignment with gratitude and, you know, no matter what our circumstances are, it is possible always to find something to be grateful for. And, um, so it's like, start there, you know, um, there's a Z on this card and, um, it's just, it's like giving me this energy of like, once you start somewhere, you'll end up realizing it's like unraveling something. It's like getting to the end of something or like kind of maybe even realizing that there is no end to something. There is no end to things to be grateful for or something like that. Um, but I, I feel like there is this potentially... This may be an energy and then this may be a separate energy or for some of you, this is the same energy, but it feels as though there's someone that it's like something has been awakened where either there was soul recognition with someone kind of relatively new. Um, but, uh, it's like something happened that, that to where it's like, like I said, there may have been soul recognition or you know, there may have been some kind of chemistry or some kind of attraction here that happened a bit unexpectedly for you, Pisces. I feel like whoever this is, is missing you or is longing you or longing for you or is possibly even wanting to get to know you better. Even though I feel like there's a lot of space between you, like you may not, um, you may not like see this person every day or you may not really have a way to get in touch with this person or um there's some kind of separation here there's some kind of distance this can also just be separation with an ex and it's like you may be doing really well you may be having a big glow up you may be you know and it's kind of making this person realize how much in this time apart they have really missed you or it's maybe even increasing how much they miss you to a point where it's like they start to begin to feel like they need to do something about it. I feel as though we're sort of rising above the energy of the two of swords here for whatever reason. Um, and then here we have allow and reconciliation. So there, there's an opportunity here to come back together with someone if we're receptive to it, if we're open to it. It, like I said, could be this person that's missing you, or this can be a separate person. 
Um, so we're going to clarify these energies, but the power of choice or having the opportunity to choose here to be, this is what I call an embarrassment of riches. When you have a choice where it's like, it seems like they're both good choices. Um, I call this an embarrassment of riches. It's like gratitude brings in abundance and, and this is what we're seeing. We don't want to be grateful to get what we want. We want to be grateful for the sake of being grateful, but the automatic response is abundance is to call in more things that we want when we're grateful for what we have. All right. So What is this shine, longing, and space, please? Okay. Okay, something may have happened in October. You may have met this person in October. Uh-huh. Okay, they F, oh, this almost feels like love bombing. It sort of feels like this situation came in and it felt like something that you had been hoping for or wanting was coming together for you, Pisces in October, but it turned out not to last with the tent and the temporary situation. This person may have been pretty complimentary to you. They may have even like spoiled you with a lot of attention. For some of you, they may have even given you a flower or flowers. Um, but then it's like they may have just disappeared. They may have ghosted you. They may have taken a step back. They may just have stopped pursuing it. Um, May have really cooled off. Please allow reconciliation. Okay. Okay. Then I feel like for some of you, you have a past person who... My gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pisces. Okay. I feel like, you know, you have a past person here who may have needed to take up uh, some time to try to focus on their health and well being. But you have this karma energy with Haystack of, you know, you reap what you sow. So there's something here that this person it is like has possibly been in some kind of karmic cycle that has kept them feeling really tired and tied down and frustrated. It's kind of the energy of the devil. It's like something that's not in our highest and best good, but yet we feel like we can't really free ourselves from it. This is some karmic cycle for this person. Um, you have this torch energy and literally when I saw this, it's like they, they still carry a torch for you. Um, you know, this is talking about spiritual development and enlightenment. They may be, um, working on this or they may have been following a bit of a spiritual path here, um, and, and kind of evolving and growing, whether it's to the point where it can sincerely make a difference in your connection or not. I'm not sure, but it's like, they haven't given the, the chemistry or the feelings or the attraction really hasn't gone anywhere. Um, and I feel like there's something here with this handshake where just you having met this person or just you having come together with this person in the first place may have been a bit unlikely. Uh, I don't know what this is that I'm picking up on here. There may be an age difference or a cultural difference or, you know, you may have met like on vacation or you know, in some unlikely circumstance, or you may have even met through a friend, but it's like something to where it feels as though this is an unusual, this is, it's like I'm getting the energy of differs from your normal type or It just feels like this is an unlikely meeting, which makes it feel both spiritual and karmic at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, um, 
you know, I should have known this was never going to work because, you know, you're so different from me or we look at things so differently or at times you might feel that way, but then at other times you may have felt, feel like, well, this had to have been destined. This had to have been the divine because there's no other way I would have met this person. There's some focus on this either for you or for this person. There's just this feeling of like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. Um, and then you have grapes, which is time to go out and have fun. You have the tulip, which is great passion. And then you have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. And you have the bell, the announcement on the bottom of the deck. It feels like there's going to be some kind of communication or some kind of reaching out here that kind of begins some kind of um, series of events, you know, to where it's like you go from having just having fun or it being very lighthearted to it being like, where there's a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion to where it's like, wow, somehow we figured out this equation. Like it may have even been a relationship that didn't work in the past that sort of almost may have seemed impossible. And it's like somehow it's like if you go with the flow with this and they go with the flow with this, with that allow energy, it's like it can really come together in a beautiful way. It's like getting some kind of opportunity. The spell feels like judgment with the horn of judgment, right? All right. So let's see. What can you tell me about this relationship spirit? October, I'll call it. The October relationship. All right. Yeah. Okay, see? You have this energy of compliments from an admirer with the bouquet, and then and you have inseparable. Um, our love is always there despite the distance. And, and then you have irreplaceable, the way you love can never be matched. And then you have absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. And on the bottom of the deck, you have escape. I left when things got hard. So there's something here about a very strong connection that, um, doesn't last. I feel like it may, must have triggered someone. Someone may have been an avoidant personality or an avoidant attachment style, and they may have just bolted from the connection. Um, but it's like, you know, whether or not this was like a long lived relationship or whether or not it was a short relationship, it sort of feels like it doesn't matter because the depth of the connection was there was very strong. And there is a sense of a feeling of loss. Um, And like, guys, not to be judgmental here, but I'm getting like, it's kind of like an um, unnecessary loss or like it didn't have to be that way or it didn't have to happen like that. Here, let me clarify with these. Like it might not have even been that hard. Okay. Yeah, break. Look at this. Okay, there, it may have gotten to this place where it's like, I just need you to tell me how you feel. Or we need to have some kind of conversation that holds some kind of weight or reveals some level of emotion or something in order to continue this. And it's like this person was like, that's too hard for me and took a nap. It is faith that brought this together in the first place, though, with serendipity. All right, the sun relationship for Pisces. Please clarify the sun relationship for Pisces. Yikes. Okay, this is definitely, oh, see, oh, Lord, this is outside interference, you guys. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, this is someone who did not have the strength to, um, kind of be, to stick by their own, choices. They kind of were allowing themselves to be very influenced by a lot of external people, factors, situations, circumstances, you name it, whatever it is. Um, and you know, a lot of times when people allow that it's because they're not ready for this kind of relationship, you know, um, people who are ready for ki these kinds of relationships know who they are. You know, we always talk about the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups leads to the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups, right? When you, and I read you that Khalil Gibran on marriage the other day, which thank you all for those beautiful responses. Um, it's a very special passage. I, I just, 
you can tell that some people are very connected to the divine in their art. And that certainly is one of them. But anyway, is this whole idea of being whole on your own and allowing your love to not support you, not make you happy, not make you who you are, not make you strong, but to be a moving sea between the shores of your soul. And it feels like, you know, if this is someone who can't stand up to the people around them that are gossiping or that are lying to them about you, then they're not in a space where they know themselves well enough to trust themselves and their own opinion about you. So there's, um, there's just this feeling of someone who was maybe like a little too immature for what they were being faced with, regardless of their age. You know, um, this person needed to figure, find self-love and really with self-love, even a sense of self and even, even the ability to hold a boundary, to not let, you know, themselves be so influenced by things that are outside of them. When we allow other people to make our decisions for us, we learn the lessons that are meant for those people instead of the lessons that are meant for ourselves. So it's an unnecessary thing for us to learn that lesson. But on top of it, um, we're not learning the lesson that we want to learn ourselves. So, you know, it's always best to live and die by your own sword, right? Or I don't know. That's how I was raised. But we have um, reveal and unfinished business. So I, I feel like, especially with the sun card here, that this person is going to be bringing clarity. They're going to be shining a light on the fact that for them, this isn't over or for them, it hasn't been over. Um, there's, there's this soul tie energy on the bottom of the deck, which is like, I always feel connected to you. You know, um, this is someone who feels your presence. This is someone who, you know, thinks about you, considers you, you know, it definitely holds a space within themselves for you. Let me um, clarify this energy of the sun relationship. What what else can you tell me? Mm, so this person has not been taking any action. Um, this person has been observing, watching, waiting, hoping to receive possibly some kind of message from you, Pisces, with the yin and the observer. There's yin is that feminine side, that receptive side. Um, and they're also intuitive. I feel there is a, a part of them that's sort of watching and waiting for maybe the right moment or a good time, or, you know, it's like they're, it's like <laughs> they're kind of leaving their light on and the door unlocked. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming toward you, but I'm not locking you out either. You know what I mean? It, it's like, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but I feel like this person is hoping for another chance. I do feel like this person feels like time may be running out on it. Um, but this person, it feels like there is definitely unfinished business here. We're getting this twice. And then you have breathe underneath that. I feel like this person has been going through some process of healing or maturation or, you know, just going within more, listening to themselves more, possibly building that connection between themselves and their intuition, um, at least knowing their own voice or their own mind, whether they listen to it or not, at least now I feel like they know what it is, you know, um, All right, let's dive into the tarot, shall we, Pisces? What can you tell me about the October relationship, please, Spirit? Guys, I just let my readings unfold organically. I just have cards out here as a tool to read the energy as it wants to come out. Um, and wow, okay, the Six of Fire was upside down in the deck for whatever reason. Um, might be a message. Um, so this isn't like a particular spread or anything. With this deck, you're not supposed to read reversals. That's how the creator wants it to be used. So I don't read reversals in this deck ever. Okay, so with this card, okay. For some of you, this is the past person. This is the same person. This is someone who has not been able to really release this relationship. 
Wow. Three nines. Man, that doesn't happen very often, you guys, where you get three nines. Like those are the only three cards that came out. They're all nines. And weirdly, almost creepy, we have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck and nine plus two makes 11. <laughs> um, and also I was going through this and the by the book was the 11th card. Yeah. And that's I took 11 as a sign to stop reading there. So, um, so I don't know, 11, 11, 11, we just had one eleven. the one eleven portal could be significant. Also nine, nine, nine. So could be open and aware for those signs and synchronicities that is definitely telling you, I feel like you're on the right path or you're on the path to what you want here. Um, I, you're definitely, there's choices, there's choices, there's choices, there's choices here, Pisces. Oh my gosh, you guys, creepy. Underneath the two of fire is the two of water. Should we even try? Okay, it's a three. <gasps> um, but these twos are significant of a choice. And this is, you know, a choice that you desire. It's a choice of the heart. It's, it's a, probably a relationship choice here. Um, for some of you, this is a choice between two people. For others of you, this is a choice on whether to pursue something or whether to open up to something. Man, I, there's, there's something here where you have one of a kind here. There may be like one person that holds a particular place for you. One person who you know, it's like, you're like, man, this person, I connect with this person in a way where I don't connect with other people. It's like their sameness. There's parts where it totally overlaps and aligns. And then there's parts where it's very, very different. And it's, I feel like like I, my husband was pretty opposite me when we got together. I mean, there was very, we had very little in common. Um, but it's been wonderful. Um, and the things we did have in common, we totally cherish. And we actually found things that we liked that we probably wouldn't have ever known that we liked if we hadn't, you know, if we had found someone who was exactly the same as us and wanted to do everything that we wanted to do anyway. Um, and then you have this communication. So I feel like there's someone here that's just different than other people. And there's, it's like you may find yourself like throughout life you've communicated with them. You know, it's like someone that it's like you just it's like you may there may be great time distances that even pass between you talking to this person. But it's like it always kind of comes back around or it's like somebody always ends up reaching out even every time you think it's over. Um I feel like you're getting a choice here. There's something that's definitely closing out with 999. This is the completion of a cycle. And I had just said to you, the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups, that's how we know someone is ready for the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. And there was an issue of maturity here of somebody that wasn't strong in their own mind and their own heart. So for those of you who this is a past person, and this is just one person that we're talking about, this is someone who I feel like has come into a place where they have a much deeper understanding of who they are and what they want and what they have to offer and what they're looking for in a person. And I feel like the more they have learned this and the more they've come into this energy, the harder it's been to let go of this dream to be with you, Pisces. I feel like they're realizing how, you know, aligned, you know, the energy of them as an individual is with you as an individual, regardless, you know, the more and more you know who you are and the more and more confident you are in it, the less intimidated you are too by people who are also in this energy. When you don't know who you are and when you're very insecure, people in this energy bring out odd parts of your personality that are very uncomfortable usually. But the more secure you are, the more you know yourself, the more you know, um, so it feels like this person's becoming a vibrational match, you know, where before it, they probably were a vibrational match with something, you know, more toxic or, you know what I mean? Less challenging or less, you know, that it, like the purpose of this, a relationship like this is growth, is expansion, is, you know, development, is reaching actualization in the connection, right? Um, you know, if you start like, I'll just leave it there. 
All right, so I feel like this is how this person is presenting. All right. Oh my gosh, could this person get any more spy cards? Okay, so we have the page of air and we also already had the observer energy. Mm -hmm. So Pisces, I feel like you're not really talking to this person. I feel like you're not going out of your way to make things easy for this person. Another two. So now we've seen three twos, three nines, and the master number 11. Um, it just in case you're like, that's important to you. It's important to me for sure. Um, but you have this energy about you that is sort of confident and quiet. Um, I feel like it's attractive and mysterious and alluring. Um, and I feel like this person has kept an eye on you with the six of earth here. This is somebody who may be ready to balance things out, may be ready to really reciprocate and really give to the situation with the page. I mean, with the, the messenger of earth, which is the page of earth here, there's kind of this energy of like having learned some spiritual lessons. And we, we, um, have seen that in other cards in this person's energy. So, you know, they may want to see you in person. They may want an opportunity to possibly explain themselves or to possibly, I don't know, just kind of see for themselves where you're at. You know, you're coming out. This is actually, hold on a second. The messenger of earth is actually the knight of pentacles still in all though, I, I feel the same way that I did this, but this messenger of earth also is somebody who's going to be moving very slowly. This is someone who's actually skeptical is the energy that I'm picking up on. <gasps> yeah. This person's skeptical. They're not really sure why you're coming, why there's something here. Okay. So this person, I feel like with the seven of water, this person has fantasized, has daydreamed. Yeah, they really want a new beginning. They may even, you know, when you're watching someone, especially if this person has been watching you for a long time, there may be a little bit of, um, you know, an obsession. When you have the devil and the ace of wands, you're probably the most attractive person that this person like they, this pro person probably holds you as their most attractive person that they talk to, or like the person that turns them on the most or the person that they feel they have the most chemistry with, with the devil and the ace of wands, for sure. Like that's, bleep. um, with the seven of water, this person fantasizes about this a lot. Um, it, this may make this person feel very vulnerable or like it, it may make this person feel like in the past, especially it may have sort of taken them out of control or like off path or off task, like this connection or you have the potential to sort of, um, affect their energy or affect their sense of direction. So this person's taking it slow. I, I do feel like this person is skeptical about possibly what you want or whether they can trust you or whether they can trust the situation. Or if you've had a couple chances at this relationship and it hasn't worked out, it may, to this person, they may be skeptical that it's possible for it to work out. It's something there. This, it, this person wants it and they want it real bad. Um, but I feel like they do have a lot to offer. You do have the King of Earth underneath all of this, but this person is approaching very slowly, you know, because I think because they want it so bad. And this may even be where they're trying to project an image of someone who has a lot of options um, and who who isn't just completely focused on you, but with all these spy cards, the Page of Air and the Observer card, I feel like they are very focused on you. I, and I feel like they don't, they just don't want it to show. They don't want it to be obvious. I want to clarify this six of pentacles. I want to see what it is that they actually really want. Yeah, let me do that what they're really willing to give.
Oh, God, Pisces. I swear I could not make this up. The Page of Swords, again. I mean, this person is like, I don't want to say stalking, but that has come out in other readings, and I do feel it here. Okay, something has happened in this relationship. This person may have been dishonest with you or may have been manipulative. Um, it feels like uh, what kept them from really going for this in the past, which they may not have said, was their fear. And with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords, this is a fear of failure, a fear of being defeated, a fear of being manipulated, a fear of someone trying to trick them even possibly. A fear of looking like the fool. Could be a lot of ego here. There's some kind of communication coming in out of the blue with the Eight of Wands and the Tower and Judgment. It's some kind of opportunity for a reconciliation in this connection. I feel like or a rebirth in this connection. Um, with the six of cups here, this person again is thinking about you a lot and, and we have two sixes now and six is this energy of coming into harmony of becoming a frequential match. And that's what I see. I see, I see an energy where I feel like this person has matured or has made progress or has changed. Um, and their frequency is a lot closer to yours possibly than it has maybe ever been especially if this person was afraid of looking stupid. And so therefore, you know, let fear win and withdrew from this relationship in the first place. Like it's also though, things other people were saying to them may have played to their fears that they were going to look like a fool. Cause we did see outside interference a lot before. So there could have been people working against the connection you, you would probably be aware of that. With the Queen of Swords, it's like you have never just accepted what this person was willing to give you. It's like you've always been honest about what you need and want. And uh, that's scary to this person. You may also have boundaries, and that may be scary to this person. Um, with the Devil, they may have a tendency to be a little bit um, codependent. Holy mackerel. Okay, so Pisces, um, the tower, we have the four of pentacles and the three of cups. There's something here where this person, it's like, I feel as though they have held on to the idea of having a reconciliation. We saw that nine of wands. Now we're seeing this four of pentacles where it's like, they have not really been willing to give up on this idea of this thing coming back together. But with the Eight of Cups, it's like they're, they may fear you walking away from them, to making the decision to walk away from them, and then having regret or having to live with that. But with the Magician and the Full card here, there's this sense of What about the regret that comes when you don't take a chance? Like, have you guys seen those memes on Instagram that are like, um, like I can be a fool. Like I can, <laughs> oh my God, I'd rather like look stupid. I'm just going to say that even though that's not what it is because I got rejected than to feel stupid for the rest of my life because I never took the chance. That's this energy with the eight of cups and the two of wands. It's like this person realizes that you're always going to have the choice to walk away or you're always going, you know, everybody always has that choice, but some people are worth taking the risk for. And you're either going to regret, you know, having taken the chance and looking like an idiot, or you're going to regret not taking the chance or making the decision to like give up on it before you've given it a chance. And it's like, because this person, it feels like either there, there has been time that has gone by where this person has not been able to give up this idea of having a reconciliation, or it's like, um, it, it may even be that this person feels like they, um, 
were stingy or didn't give very much to the connection or withheld too much or were too, you know, whenever I see a four, I think of the emperor, right? Um, where they were too controlling or too like, uh, you know, I'm not going to give more than this. Or, you know, if you want a commitment too bad, like I'm still having a good time in life. Or this feels like an immaturity thing. Again, it feels like somebody who wasn't quite ready. But with the magician and the full card energy, this is how we begin the major arcana. This is somebody who is ready to take the risk, who is ready to like dive into what life has to offer here, you know, the fool and the magician. And it's somebody who's stepping into their power and recognizing the tools that they have to navigate that space. And they're feeling more confident in it. Um, and so, you know, I feel like this is someone too, who's probably manifested an opportunity in this situation. Um, and it's like, you know, ultimately the choice is which thing, which thing are you willing to regret? You know, um, cause regret is a heavy, 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 lower vibrational energy that, you know, I don't really wish it on my worst enemies because it sucks. Uh, and it's hard to live with. All right, Pisces, let me get you some message cards. I feel like what we're talking about here is a potential kind of big conversation, a lot of communication even possibly coming in. I feel like the person that we're talking about here may move very, very slowly. I think that's because this person actually wants this pretty bad and they don't want it to show. They don't want you to know that. Um, so they're sort of like coming across in a very steady, paced, slow energy which, you know, might be annoying. But I feel like there's something here about what's going on or how the communication is coming in that's very surprising, that's very shocking. So it may also be that we need to move slowly because we don't want to seem too excited or because, you know, we weren't thinking about this yesterday and now all of a sudden this is on our mind constantly. You know what I mean? Um, so we have to figure out how it fits into the grander scheme of our life. All right, Pisces, if you're dealing with a water sign, I left when I saw you with someone. I replay our conversations over and over. I don't react when people mention you. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I want you. I wish I had treated you better. I left before you could leave me. Yeah, the nine of swords and the five of swords, exactly what that is. If you're dealing with an earth sign, it's time for me to heal now. I feel you even though we are apart. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. If you're dealing with an air sign, you're getting I love you. My life is not as together as it seems and I will wait for a sign from you. Pisces, my gosh. All right, well, this is what I have for you. I really hope that it helps. Like I said, for some of you, this may be two different people. You may have a choice between two different people. For others of you, this may be a past person with a lot of history that, you know, you, you choose, you're going to come to a choice point again, whether to pursue this relationship or not. Um, and I do feel like it is, you know, up to you. All right. This is what I have for you. I really do hope that it helps until next time, guys. I send you off with all my very best, always, 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 with regeneration on the bottom of the deck and the judgment card coming out and everything. This is definitely, there is an opportunity for a second chance with a past person, I feel like, for whoever this is resonating with. And then for some of you, there's also a new person um, or someone you may not have even realized that they felt some kind of soul recognition when they met you. All right, until next time, guys, all my best, always, always, always. Bye-bye.